We just left Hango and we are going to sail to Helsinki overnight. It's about 80 nautical miles. I think we'll try to go outside the archipelago. Uh, winds are maybe 10 knots, so waves shouldn't be too big. And if it gets up too uncomfortable and picks up, we can go inside the archipelago, but we should be able to get a little bit more uh, rest, I think, outside. The sun is just about to set. We're gonna finish flag. And Annalyn just poured me a whiskey. <laughs> So now the winds are kind of light and coming from behind, maybe 10 knots of wind. So I think this is a good opportunity to, to fly the spinnaker. You can see where we're just cruising through the water pretty fast. The 85 mile passage we just did to Helsinki went very well. We parked the pickle here in Finland. This is like a guest harbor, yacht club, and restaurant. We're right in the middle of the city. There's a ferry. We're on an island, and the ferry takes you just right across there every 20 minutes or 30 minutes. It's only a minute long trip. NJK Marina Guest Harbor. And then there's a restaurant and a sauna and a hot tub over here. at the train station. Now we get to sail to Estonia and working our way out of the Baltic. Looks like the wind finally switched direction, so it should be good. Yeah, back to being single-handed. Gotta remember how to single-hand this boat again. I don't think it'll be too hard. Not a whole lot of wind forecast. Uh, I was tempted to wait another night, but a lot of times it says there's no wind and there's usually some wind. Um, so we might end up drifting for a few hours tonight, but I mean, I'm already seeing boats out here in the harbor. Uh, it's best not to really trust the forecast or get disappointed about a forecast before we even get out there. So maybe about 16 hour passage, we'll sail overnight and uh, get into Tallinn in Estonia tomorrow, maybe morning, hopefully not too late in the afternoon. As I was motoring out of the harbor in Helsinki, the police boat started coming over towards me and I was thinking, oh no, what do they want? Uh, but it turned out they just wanted to say hi and take a picture because they've seen my videos. So that was really nice. The sail is up, but it's kind of motor, just motor sailing right now. I don't think it's really adding any speed. 
There's a tiny little rock island about three miles out. I might just uh, see if I could anchor to it or near it and then wait for a while and see if the wind maybe picks up in a few hours. Island coming kind of fast, better slow down. 37 feet. Here we are, anchored right next to this little Finnish island. There's actually a couple people on a kayak on there. I might go for a swim. It's kind of warm out now, but then again, I just took a shower. The Baltic's not as salty as the real ocean but still a little bit salty there's a coast guard ship over there it's like super blurry and diffused and i'm like right there where's the sky where's the sea begin well i thought there might have been a little bit of a breeze but there wasn't but i pulled up the anchor anyway and the moon is very bright tonight. Can even see a few stars. The planet over there. And we are going just ever so slightly away from this island. A blistering one knot. But we are moving. The wind's picked up a little bit overnight, and we are doing four to five knots. Slip a little bit, but there's a few shifts out here. I could hear that one from pretty far away. Start to see Talon up ahead. About five miles to go. It's bizarre. The wind has just died completely. It's the second second time it's happened as I got closer to the harbor. All these other, and we're just you just hit like a dead spot. And we're we're still five miles from land. I can see all these other sailboats out there sailing. I can see the wind just beyond there where we came from. So I guess we're gonna have to motor finally. So now we're outside the harbor and we're going to be docking at a this uh Harbor in uh, Tallinn in Estonia today. And so the trick is to get everything ready out beforehand. So we got fenders out. I'm not sure what kind of situation it's going to be in, you know? I've got some lines up here on the front ready to go. I've got, yeah, all the fenders out on both sides. I've got, um, I've also got the most important line, I think, is the amidship line. And with this line, this is the first line that I can at I attach. And once I get this line, I don't have to worry about the back going too far out or the bow going out. I can easily pull the boat in and then get those lines at my leisure. You know, there's no rush really. Also, a lot of the marinas in this part of the world use these uh, buoys and then you have to tie the front up uh, with a rope to a, to a, a dock or a wharf and then you, uh, you hook the buoy. And I found these, these, these metal hooks make it a lot easier so I don't have to like, you know, run a line through and I can I can really eat, uh, dock single-handed uh, easily with this. So it was like 40 bucks for this little, you know, metal hook. It's kind of expensive, but it's been really worth it. It makes docking in those kind of situations so much easier for me. I have it tied to a polypropylene line that, so that it will float, and I don't have to worry about it getting tangled in the propeller, hopefully. And then it's just flaked into a bag, not coiled, so it will easily, uh, you know, the line will come out smoothly from this bag without getting any tangles or knots. And I've got a bunch of extra dock lines if I need them. I'll probably actually put those on the stern in a minute. <clears throat> if I had an Estonian courtesy flag, that would go on the starboard uh, spreader. I didn't originally think I was coming to Estonia, so I didn't buy one in advance, but we'll see if we can get one in town. Here, here's the harbor we're coming into. Try to get right in the middle if we can. 
So someone said that these were the guest lifts and you can see they label them, that's kind of nice. I'm gonna go on, on this side because I like to dock into the wind. So we use the wind to slow us down and that lets us have a little bit more uh, prop wash over the rudder for more control. Very bizarre seeing navigation markers on land. I mean, they're absolutely huge when you see them this close. This is a replica of the first Estonian built submarine. It's made out of wood. Oh, it's pretty rad. Look at that thing. Tiny. So we do got our little Estonia flag now. Thanks for watching. The next video will sail on over to Latvia. And currently I am in Harwich Harbor in the UK. If anyone's in the area and wants to meet up or has any recommendations or free spots I could stay in uh, around here, let me know. Uh, next, I think I'll be working my way towards uh, Southampton to go to the boat show in a couple of weeks. And then beyond that, I think my plan will be to possibly sail the boat back to um, the Netherlands to store it for the winter. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.